Sa pag-evaluate ng binomial expansion, kailangan natin i-multiply mga binomial by itself. So, kung meron tayong x plus y raised to 1, hindi na natin siya kailangan expand kasi x plus y is just x plus y. Pero kung meron kang x plus y squared, to expand x plus y squared, di mo multiply mo siya by itself twice, kaya meron kang x plus y and x plus y. At kapag pinoil mo to or minultiply mo si x and x, x to y, y to x, and y to y, you'll get x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. So ito yung expansion ng x plus y squared kapag in-evaluate nyo siya. At kung x plus y cubed naman, tatlong beses mo siyang multiply by itself, so you'll have x plus y times x plus y, at yung product nila, multiply mo ulit sa x plus y. Kaya meron kang x cubed plus 3x squared y plus 3xy squared plus y cubed. Now, paano naman kung halimbawa, kailangan mong erase si x plus y to 213? Or, let's just say, erase natin siya sa fifth power. Now, to expand x plus y raised to 213, it would take you forever to... Um, expand x plus y kasi kailangan mo siyang i-multiply by itself 213 times. So, ngayon, kailangan natin gumamit ng ibang paraan kung paano i-expand or i-evaluate si binomial without multiplying it by itself. At yun yung tinatawag na binomial expansion using Pascal triangle. So, gagamitan natin siya ng Pascal triangle. So, ano ba yung Pascal triangle? Ito mga Pascal Triangle or yung mga values sa Pascal Triangle, ito yung mga gagamitin natin coefficient sa ating binomial expansions. So, yung first level nung inyong Pascal Triangle will be A plus B raised to 0. At alam natin kapag uh, ang mga number ni raised mo sa 0, it's just gonna be equal to 1. So, you have 1 right here. Tapos naman, ang coefficient naman, halimbawa ng A plus B raised to 1 will be 1 and 1. Kasi papansin nyo, 1 yung coefficient ng A at 1 yung coefficient ng B. Now, pag in-expand nyo si A plus B squared, ang mga coefficients niya will be 1, 2, and 1. So, nakuha mo si 2 kasi in-add mo si 1 and 1, and you have 2 right here. Now, para siyang sequence na may pattern, so to get the expansion or coefficient ng A plus B cubed, ang magiging coefficients, coefficients niya will be 1, and then 1 plus 2 will give you 3, 2 plus 1 will give you 3, and then 1 ulit dun sa dulo. So, yun yung pattern na ginagamit natin sa Pascal Triangle. At gagamitin natin ito sa pagkuha ng expansions natin later on. So, pagka idadagdag nyo yung habang tumataas or lumalawak yung uh, pyramid nyo or Pascal Triangle nyo, dumadami naman yung coefficient depende doon sa exponent ng inyong binomial. So, you have here 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, and 1. Nakuha nyo itong mga to kasi 1 plus 4 is 5, 4 plus 6 is 10, 6 plus 4 is 10, and 4 plus 1 is equal to 5, and so on. So, ito yung mga gagamitin natin coefficients para makakuha tayo ng expansion ng Pascal Triangle na hindi na natin siya multiply by itself. Sa example na to, meron tayong x plus 2 raised to the 4th power at gagamitan natin siya ng Pascal Triangle para ma-expand natin sa x plus 2. Now, if we're going to do this manually, kailangan natin i-multiply sa x plus 2 4 times. So, tatlong beses kayo mag-multiply ng x plus 2 by itself para makuha mo yung expansion nyo. So, ngayon, gagamitan natin siya ng Pascal Triangle. So, ang unang step sa paggamit ng Pascal Triangle or ng binomial expansion using this method is kung meron kang exponent na 4, it means kailangan mo yung first term and second term as factors of each other. And then, kailangan mong gumawa ng limang sets ng x and 2 or factors ng x, x and 2 para sa binomial expansion nyo. Kaya meron kayong x2, 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 and x2 dito sa inyong first step. Now, ito yung foundation nyo para ma-expand nyo si x plus 2 to the 4th at yung second step naman, yung paglalagay ng exponent. Ang exponent na gagamitin nyo ay dependent dun sa highest exponent ng inyong expansion. So, kung meron kayong 4, ang magsistart kayo sa x raised to the 4 and then 3, 2, 1, and then 0. And then dun sa second factor nyo or sa second term nyo which is lahat mga 2, ang kailangan nyo naman gawin is lag lagyan siya ng exponent na ngayon naman pababa starting from the lowest exponent na ginawa nyo sa, kan sa kaninang step which is 0. So ngayon, magsastart kayo ngayon sa 0 and then 1 and then 2, 3 
and then 4. Now, pagka na-set nyo na yung inyong uh, step 2 and 4, pwede na kayo mag-simplify ng mga exponent. x raised to 4 is x to the 4th, and 2 raised to 0 is 1. Kaya x to the 4th yung first term natin. Yung second term natin will be 2x cubed, kasi 2 raised to 1 is just 2. So, you have 2x cubed right here. And dun sa third term, you have 2 squared, which gives you 4. And 4x squared will be your third term dito sa pangalawang expansion, pangatlong expansion nyo. Doon sa pang-apat naman, x to the first and then 2 cubed will give you 8x. At yung last will be x raised to 0 which is 1, kaya 2 to the fourth is 16. Ito ngayon yung step number 4 nyo at hindi pa tapos yung binomial expansion nyo kasi kailangan nyo i-apply yung Pascal Triangle. At sa Pascal Triangle, doon sa level 4 ng Pascal Triangle, meron tayong 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, nakakailangan na nating i-multiply sa mga coefficient ng ating mga terms para ma-complete yung ating binomial expansion. So, sa last step is to incorporate yung mga numbers dun sa Pascal Triangle and you'll have 1x to the 4th, 4 times 2 is 8x cubed, and 6 times 4 is 24x squared, 4 times 8 is 32x, at yung last term nyo will be 16. So, ito yung binomial expansion nyo ng x plus 4 raised to the 4th power nang hindi kinakailangan mag-multiply ng x plus 4 by itself. Now, sa second example naman, ang kaibahan niya, dito naman, gagamitan natin yung binomial natin ng middle term ng na subtraction. So now, meron tayong 2x minus 3 raised to cubed. At anong pagkakaiba niya doon sa 2x or sa addition ng inyong binomial kesa dito sa 2x minus 3 raised to cubed. Ang pagkakaiba niya, may kakaroon ka pa rin ng term na yung dalawang terms nyo is 2x at saka yung 3, 2x and 3. Tapos yung inyong um, operation na minus, instead na minus, 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 alternating na siya. Meron ka ng minus, plus, and minus. So, yan yung kaibahan ng example number 2 sa example number 1. And then, yung mga steps, parehas pa rin, since meron ka na ngayong dalawang factors, ng 2x and 3, yung first factor mo will be pat Pababa, starting from the highest exponent of 3. So you have 3, 2, 1, 0. At dun sa second factor mo naman is magsa-start ka sa pinakamababa. Kaya 0, 1, 2, and 3. Now, i-simplify nyo yung mga exponent. So 2x raised to 3 will give you 8x cubed. And 3 raised to 0 is 1. Tapos yung uh, second term nyo, 2x squared will be 4x squared times 3. And then 2x times 9. And then 2x raised to 0 is 1, so you only have 27 here. And then pinagsama ko na yung steps, so dito sa pangatlong um, linya ko, in-incorporate ko na yung mga um, coefficients associated sa Pascal Triangle at third um, power. So meron tayong 1, 3, 3, and 1. So i-multiply nyo siya sa mga coefficients ng bawat term ng inyong binomial expansion, and you'll have 8x cubed minus 36x squared plus 54x minus 27. At yan yung binomial expansion ng 2x minus 3 raised to 3. And take note, ng 2x or quantity 2x raised to 3 is not the same as 2x cubed. Kailangan i-distribute nyo yung exponent nyo sa x and 2, kaya meron kang 2 cubed x cubed, which is 8x cubed. So take note of this expansion kasi mas maraming nagkakamali dito sa expansion na to. So, every time may parenthesis, kailangan i-distribute nyo yung exponent sa bawat term.